Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Kim Kardashian West Times Kylie Cosmetics Cream Liquid Lipstick Collection. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do this. I did some swatches and did some reviews on Snapchat, but you also wanted me to do a full video on it. So that is what I'm doing today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I actually have a lot of thoughts on this collection, so make sure to stay tuned till the end. I also did some swatches of all the colors, tried each of them on, and then told you how each one applied, and which ones were patchy, which ones were dry, and all that good stuff. So make sure to stay tuned through the end of the video so you guys can see my final thoughts on this product. And don't forget to subscribe down below if you're not already, and let's just get right into this video. So the first color we're going to try on is Kimi. This one is actually my favorite one from the collection. I've been wearing these for like a couple of days just trying to test out and see how they look with different makeup looks, how they feel on different days, and if they have consistency. And I actually really like Kimi. This is the one I keep wearing like on an everyday basis. So I'm going to apply it onto my lips so you guys can see what it looks like on there and then I'm going to swatch it on my hands so we can compare it to the other colors as well. Alright, so this is what Kimmy looks like on the lips. I love the finish of these lipsticks because they're not liquid lipsticks, so they're not very dry and they have like a lot of hydration to them, especially because they have kind of like a glossy finish. As you can see, it's like super shiny and I don't know, I really like that nowadays because I feel like liquid lipsticks sometimes are so drying, especially during the summer time when people tend to be sweating a lot. I just feel like it's kind of gross to be wearing like a dry lipstick when you're like sweating and then it sweats off. So I feel like this goes really pretty with like kind of like the theme of like springtime. It's like very refreshing and I just, I don't know, I really love the finish they have to them and I think they feel like just very highly pigmented lip glosses. Anyway. Alright, so that is what Kimmy looks like. Definitely has like a peacher undertone than the other ones. The other ones are more pinky. This one definitely has some peach tones to it. Alright, the next one is Kiki. This one lo definitely looks more pinker than the other one. The other one, Kimmy definitely has some like orange tones to it as you can see. But I feel like all the colors are like really, really pretty and definitely define Kim Kardashian because she's known for her nudes, literally. So this is what Kiki looks like. Definitely is very pink and I love it. I just love pink and peachy tones. As you can see about my eyeshadow, those are definitely like my tones. I feel like this one doesn't really match my makeup right now, but it is really pretty. But like the thing that I'm saying is that it feels like a very pigmented lip gloss, but then some of them do feel like an actual cream liquid lipstick because like for example this one, I feel like it is a little bit patchy when I zoom in, you guys can probably see. And I was kind of struggling to apply it because sometimes like it feels like I'm applying paint on there. I don't know if you guys have ever used cream liquid lipsticks before, but they do feel like paint sometimes. And I don't know, I kind of noticed that they look kind of like, I don't know, you kind of have to struggle a little bit to get it to have like full opacity and to be like full coverage on your lip. Otherwise, it looks really patchy and crusty. Let me zoom in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You guys see what I mean? It looks kind of like patchy, I feel, and crusty. Like, it's still a really pretty color, but that's the thing I noticed about cream lipsticks. Cream liquid lipsticks are always like that. They feel like paint. I used to have some from, like, Stila, and I hated them because of that, and I just feel like that one kind of reminded me of, like, the Stila ones. They're, like, very, very, like, paint-like. Um, so anyways, that is what Kimmy looks like next to Kiki. Next up, we have Kim. This one definitely looks a little bit darker than the first two, but the darkest one is definitely Kimberly, and I think that one's really pretty as well. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a pretty, pretty nude color, but I feel like you kind of need, like, a lip liner when you wear them. Just because they are a little bit streaky in certain areas. That is what Kim looks like next to the other ones. Alright, last but not least, we're going to try on Kimberly. A lot of people were complaining because they were like, oh, these lipsticks aren't really catered to people with, like, darker skin tones. And other people were commenting back saying, like, okay, well, Kylie doesn't have to, like, make lipsticks that fit every type of skin tone. Like, she can make colors however she wants them to make like it, does, it doesn't have to fit people with dark skin it doesn't have to fit people with light skin like she doesn't have to cater to everyone which I kind of see like both sides but I guess it does kind of suck if you want to try something out and then you see like literally they all look like powdered donuts on your mouth but a lot of people were saying that Kimberly was like kind of the one that like some dark people were able to wear but 
It still looked a little bit too light for them and it is kind of like a darker one. And that is what Kimberly looks like. They say Kimberly is the darkest, but, but I feel like Kimberly looks like the most nude one to me. Like it looks like I'm barely wearing anything on my lips. This kind of reminds me of Jeffree Star, I'm Nude. They used to be like my go-to lipstick all the time and then I would apply gloss on top of it and it would look exactly like this. But I still like this color. I think it's a really pretty nude. I just think it's a little bit too nude for me, which is weird. Because I was watching a bunch of people's videos and they were all saying that this was like the darkest one. But, I mean, still a very pretty color. That is what Kimberly looks like next to the other colors. I feel like they all have very different tones to them. Kimmy is definitely like the most peaches one. This one's also like a very bright, intense one. And then I feel like this one's like the lightest. And this one's kind of like a medium toned one. So I honestly really, really like this collection. I think all the colors are really pretty, very flattering for like my type of vibe that I like to go for, which is like pinky and peach nude tones. So I think I'll definitely be wearing these colors almost on an everyday basis and kind of like switch it up in between. I like the quality of them. Some of them, I mean, they do feel like paint. That's why I hated the Stila like cream liquid lipsticks that they had a while ago. I hated those because they felt so like paint. And some of these did kind of remind me of that, but I feel like if you wear like a lip liner underneath them, they are workable or if you just kind of like apply them lightly and kind of like build up slowly. I really don't have that huge of a complaint about it, just kind of that they kind of felt like paint some of them. Other than that, I think they're really, really nice quality. I'm very impressed by these. I usually don't buy anything from Kylie just because, I don't know, I just nothing really ever attracts me. But these really did because I love Kim Kardashian's makeup. love her lipsticks that she's always wearing. And I feel like this really does define Kim Kardashian. They're like the perfect nudes that she's always wearing and always very, very good looking in them. Um, I also really love the packaging. I don't know if I said that already, but I think the packaging is amazing. And I even said if I didn't end up liking this collection, I would still keep it because it has like really nice packaging and I could have this as like decoration in like my beauty room. I think it's really, really pretty. Love like the tones, love like the nude box and it's so soft too. And this box is $45. It's not available right now. Um, it was limited edition, but you know how sometimes she always brings things back randomly has like a secret launch of them um so i wanted to do this video in case she does ever do that and you guys really wanted to see what i thought of them and how they looked on me and i do think that they are really really pretty so if they ever do come back in stock or she ever brings them back i do think that you should get your hands on them actually the one thing i will complain is that i wish she sold them individually because you know some people may not want to have like four different types of nude liquid lipsticks maybe they just want one color that they saw on someone and thought was really pretty. But other than that, I'm really pleased with this collection. I think it's really pretty. No major complaints. I think the price is reasonable because you get four liquid lipsticks for $45. So that's like $11 per liquid lipstick. So other liquid lipsticks usually are like $18, $21. So I think it's like a reasonable price because you do get a lot in the box. Um, so yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.